hi guys welcome back to my channel so last year i posted a video with this head wrap and a few people asked for a tutorial i did film a tutorial but i did not like it because i don't know why i probably just wasn't in the mood but forced it the scarves just didn't turn out the way i liked so i just didn't post them but I've refilmed it and decided to post them anyway because progress over perfection, right? So to begin with, I'm just going to talk you through all the different scarves that I have. A lot of these, I think almost all of them, I got them from House of Majules. I'll put the link down in the description box so you can go and get whichever one is your favourite. But I think for me, this is my favourite. These are all the other colours that I've got. So I've got this brown, this burgundy, I've got this white. This I got off Amazon. This I got from House of Majules. And then I've got a grey that comes in a collection with this one. My favourite one is usually when I have my hair in two pigtails. So this is basically two pigtails that I have joined in the middle. So it gives me like a good foundation for this first head wrap so it's very simple so like that so as you can see i'm not being very neat i'm just sort of just throwing the wrap around but if you want it to be very neat then you can sort of twirl the the material in your hands before wrapping it with this one i did not need to use two head wraps so like one to create a bigger shape underneath and another one on top to make it bigger because my bun was already quite big so yeah just play around with it to get the look that you want but this is basically how i do it to to get this shape so in the next video i'm going to show you how i would do it a lot neater but with this one i used my twisted hair and put it in two space bonds so i wasn't able to get the shape that i wanted but it was neat and that's what i wanted to show you so i went in with this wig cap that my husband sleeps in it's sort of a wig cap but it's not really um, just to protect my hair and it's important to do this if you can and then i went in with the head wrap i like to have my ears covered um i just prefer it to look that way and then with this that's here i like to tuck it in so it doesn't show so you get that okay and then make sure that it's tight take it around and then I tie it at the back once okay and then once that's done I take one side you can either like roll it or leave it as is and then tuck it in here when it comes to to head wraps you sort of have to just keep doing it until you attain the shape that you want um i can't see what i'm doing properly but i think this looks okay and i'm just gonna tuck this in here so yeah this is it my head wrap done i've got a good facelift to go with it as well <laughs> And yeah here we are I'm just gonna give you a twirl so this is the front the side this is a lot neater than the other one oh, it's smaller it. because my hair was twisted but if you want it bigger you could follow up with another scarf and do the same sort of routine to get it bigger and that's it that's how I do my head wrap so next i'm going to show you another one of my favorite styles and i'm going to use this brown head wrap as a base you take one side and then you start at the back like so 
you start at the back leaving a little bit of fabric here to wrap around and like i said before the shape under is really important that's why i left the scarf from before um and you just tuck this in maybe i shouldn't have made this so long but you just tuck it in and then you basically just wrap this around until you were happy with it And then you can keep moving it up to sort of make layers as I've done. So you can see this one, you can see that one. And then you keep bringing it around like so. And then you tuck it in. So I'm gonna tuck this one in here. And then push this back a bit so you can just push it back to make like little ruffles just to give your scarf a bit more a bit more character so it's not so smooth so yeah this is another style that I like to go for how perfect is it so these first three head wraps are the ones that I generally go for. The next few that you're going to see, uh, some that I just tried to, to create with the scarves that I had, just to give you some more ideas. But these first three are really what I wear on a daily basis and the last one as well. But the ones in between are just some uh, some more ideas for when you want to try it Press it over. So here I just changed the style of my hair to create a low bun just to create the base for the next few head wrap styles. So that's what I was doing here. I don't usually like these type of styles. As you can see a lot of the styles that I wear, even my buns are always high because I feel like they complement my face a lot better. I don't think low buns and anything that sort of hides my hair behind my back. I don't think it suits my face. Um, so yeah, that's why a lot of the styles that I like are sort of like high bun-esque sort of styles. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
and this is the last style and I think I just threw this one in just to show you that the head wraps that I wear I'm not very good at them but I just let the the shape of my hair guide me so with this one I had twisted my hair and put it in bands so I've banded my hair in two sections and just held it at the top so that's what gave me this shape and I'm really literally just wrapping my head wrap around it and that's what I do so when it comes to head wraps I think you just have to play around with it till you get your desired look so thank you for watching and let me know if you want any more head wrap tutorials I actually have a very old video with Asikara by Laura Jane um, and I'm going to put that in the cards so you can have a look at some of my older head wrap, head wrap styles. So thank you for watching and I shall see you in my next video. Bye!